everybody welcome back thank you for joining me i've got some leftover colors which are sunset colors absolutely beautiful beautiful colors um and i've decided that they're mixed with pva glue and water so they're mixed quite thickly um so i've decided i'm going to do a flip cup i haven't done a flip cup in a while and i love flip cups so i'm going to add a little bit of silicon um layer up three cups um and see what happens let me show you the colors here are my colours, so all mixed up. Um, so this is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, Amsterdam Bronze, um, Montmartre White, Amsterdam Venetian Rose, De La Rowney Purple, I think, um, and Montmartre Gold, some yellow, I can't remember which yellow that is, and this, I think, was just yellow and white because it's a paler version. Can't quite remember, it was a while ago I used, I, I did the pour. They're all mixed with PVA glue and water though, so I know the consistency. Um, so I'll put the recipe in the description and then I'm just going to add some, um, let me just find it. I'm going to add some of this, so coconut milk hair serum, um, to as which is an oil. So I'm gonna add that so I can create some cells within the painting. I've ended up adding the two yellows and the gold into one cup because there was only a tiny bit. I've just I've ended up adding them into one. So it, this is the color that's created. So again, it's just it's just quite a nice pale yellow, it's almost a lemony yellow color. So this is the order I'm going to go with. I'm going to layer up three cups. I quite like two layers of each cup, of each color in each cup. Um, there's a lot more purple. I don't want to add all the purple because purple just takes over so much. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on the bottom of each cup. So with each, by putting it into the three cups, I'm going to try and use about half. So while I was filling these cups, I've just totally changed my mind about what kind of pour I'd like to do. It's their sunset colours. So I'm going to do, I've decided, I'm going to do a ribbon pour. So pour the paint on in ribbons. There will be three separate cups, so probably three different sections. And um, because I've got some silicon in them, I'm going to torch just in very specific places. So not torch everywhere, otherwise I'll get cells everywhere, but just a little bit of torching. The paints are nice and thick, so I'm hoping the cells won't be too big. I'd quite like some just some small little sort of layered lines of, of cells within the painting. Um, so totally changed my mind. So I like using these paper cups because I can just pinch it. I'm just going to go, go for it with ribbons see what happens wow oh my goodness look at these colors and i'm just going to go back again because that's about a third of the way wow Wow, these colours are stunning. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, I'm so happy. This is beautiful. Right, I'm missing. I need to try and get. I always forget to do these two edges. So with a ribbon port, I'm going to be tilting it that way, tilting it that way. So these two edges are fine. This one I've more or less got covered, but this one definitely isn't. So I'm just going to try and pour some paint just literally along this edge so that with any luck, it will just fall over the edge to get that end covered. So there are cells popping up, which are beautiful little cells. I might not even torch this. I might just leave it at the cells that are going to naturally pop up. I'm certainly not going to do any torching yet. If I torch, it will be right at the end because I only want little, small, small little cells. I should have said near the beginning, um, I've got it in my mind at some point. I want to do the silhouette of a giraffe. Um, so at the back of my mind, I'm wondering if this I can use this paw for that because it's sunset colours. Um, so I don't want lots of really big cells. So all I'm going to do is tilt it one way to get the colours to run over the edge. There's just a couple of little gaps, which, yep, they're filling in nicely now. that has gone over that edge beautifully and I'm just going to turn it round it's the yellow that is creating these cells now I wonder what yellow did I use I think it must be the brand of yellow that I've used but they're absolutely beautiful they're just really subtle very organic looking cells they're not the typical sort of silicon cells I wonder if it's not the silicon then I wonder if it is just the brand of paint that's creating that effect Bringing it back. These colours are gorgeous. I rarely use yellow. They're beautiful. Right, I'm really happy. I'm just now going to very carefully dab the end of this canvas just to try. There's just a few little gaps still. But what I can do is just pop my finger in the drips and then just dab it onto the edge of the canvas. So just to help all the edges just blend in. Another trick is not to doubt, use the paint that's on the worktop, but actually just wipe your finger under the canvas because then you get the colours that have um, fallen off the canvas, are dripping over the edge of the canvas, and then dab those on so you know that they're the, exactly the right colours to use to, map, to blend it in. Right, that is so pretty. I am going to very, very subtly torch this. I'm going to try I'm really going to try and do it really subtly. There's just a couple of bands where there aren't many of these little cells. So just a little line like that. See what happens. OK, I don't think I did it. And oh, there's a couple popping up. I think I actually was too far away, but I'm only going to torch in lines. I think I'm going to leave it because I actually think less is more. I just want my instinct is keep, let's keep torching. Let's get loads of more cells. But I'd quite like it to be quite subtle. So it's like it's like a sunset, but it's almost like a heat haze at the same time. I think this will be perfect for a stencil. Let me show you, first of all, this edge. I need to wipe the drips, but just look at that edge absolutely beautiful just it just folds over the edge beautifully because i've only tilted it in one direction now look at these cells so you have so many straight lines or straightish lines you have so many lines and then the cells are just dotted between the lines just to break them up slightly so i definitely think it looks quite like a heat haze so i'm imagining desert sunrise over a desert um Definitely, I'm really glad I've done the ribbon pour, and I think I really think I'm going to use this as the base for a stencil, for a, a black stencil over the top. 
Um, the yellow is so pretty. As I said, I just don't use yellow much. I use gold a lot, but not yellow. Um, and I just think it looks beautiful. The purple, I said purple takes over. It hasn't. I've got purple at the top. There's not that much purple. But what will happen as this dries, is the darker colours will darken further. So actually, you'll have more contrast. So I think it will look even nicer when it's dry because the darkness will really come through more. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry and I've put my giraffe on it. So happy with my giraffe. I um, found a really beautiful image online, printed it out to the right size and cut it out and drew around it. Um, and then I ended up just freehand, just sketching in all the bits in the middle um, and then painting them in with black paint and a Posca pen. So the, let me show you the base first of all. It is absolutely beautiful. These colors are gorgeous together. So definitely, sort of African sunset, heat haze, uh, absolutely beautiful colours. Um, and I think the black silhouette just looks great. The contrast, um, absolutely gorgeous on this base. However, I'm not finished because the base is very busy and the giraffe is very busy. So I actually, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy with it how it is. So two things I'm going to do. One is I'm going to, I've bought one of these um, relief um, acrylic tubes of paint um, that desi are designed, when you put it on the canvas, they st it sits proud and it's 3D. So I'm going to put that around each of these little black sections. And then my plan is to resin inside. So actually the giraffe will, um, the whole of the giraffe, the black bits will all look very shiny. And I'm hoping that will just help it to stand out a bit more. The second thing I'm going to do is put a border on it. I don't want to paint actually on the edges because the edges are really beautiful. I love that edge. So I'm thinking about just doing a little strip just all the way around. And I think it would just highlight the giraffe more. I think just at the moment it's too busy. You don't see enough of the giraffe because it's you're very distracted by the background. It's a bit too busy. Um, so, yeah, still more to do.
So Gerald the Giraffe is now finished. Love him, love him so much, so sweet. I'm so happy with the end result. As you could see, I have painted on a border. So I put some fog tape down to get a straight line and I painted it in the really dark pink color that's in there. Um, and then I went around the edge with a thick black Posca pen just to create a frame. Um, I just felt that the giraffe was just a little bit lost um, I think it was a bit small for the canvas, really, um, or his neck's too small. Um, so adding the border, I think, just just ties it all up, just completes it um, really well. So, so happy with that. The colours, the actual paint pour is gorgeous. Um, and the actual giraffe, I'm so happy with. Can you see all the beautiful sparkle in there? The, it just helps the giraffe just to stand out and I did it so that the border went underneath his ears again so it looks like the giraffe stands out um, let me show you yeah if I tilt it you'll really get to see it's all sitting very proud of the canvas um, ca um, the resin is so thick that it creates this really I think it's called a meniscus when it, you pour it on and it holds the meniscus holds the edge intact so it doesn't leak over. If you put too much resin in, it will spill over the edge. But because it's a really thick, um, gloopy material when it's um, fluid, it holds itself in the correct shape. Um, so I am so happy with this, with this. I'm loving the sparkle in it. Um, it just adds another dimension and it just makes it look so dark. Um, so dark and black so it really really stands out so I'm absolutely over the moon um, with this um, I've got a wonderful wonderful friend called Emma who loves giraffes um, so Gerald is going to Emma um, so yeah let me know what you think um, I am definitely going to do more of this type of work where I'm embellishing it with some resin um, because I just, I love, I love this, this sort of silhouette effect and the fact that it's just so 3D, absolutely love that. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Um, take care. Bye.